Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. I put out a video yesterday talking about the five watches that I'll be buying in the AliExpress 1111 sale. I'll put a link to that uh, just in the corner. And I had such a great response to the video and had some really good suggestions of things to buy in the sale that I hadn't looked at that I thought I'd do another video just going over some of those suggestions. Uh, and oddly enough, the first thing that I got told to do was not buy one of the watches I suggested. And that was the Bagani Design 1693. So both Mark, Merck Freddy's, sorry if I get your handle wrong, and also Al at Time for Another Watch, both said, ooh, just hold fire on the GMT. Um, and they've got a best suggestion. So the watch I was going to buy, I'm not going to buy. But let's take a look at some of the suggestions that you came up with of watches I should buy. So one of the watches that Merck Fredis suggested was this one. So this is the Pagani Design PD1662. Um, now this version is, oh, I don't know if it's version three. Uh, basically is the new one with the NH34 movement, which is what Al said the other Pagani that I was looking at might be re-released with and to hold fire. Um, obviously it's a, a, a subby lookalike. 167 down to 125 in the sale. Um, it's got this new NH34 movement in it. Really good looking watch. GMT, the usual sapphire, 40 mil. That loom looks awesome, doesn't it? Absolutely awesome, that does. Um, so yeah, maybe it'll be better with that. You could just see the NH. 34A, actually. Uh, I dare say there's a slight distance between that. Sapphire glass, full stainless steel build. And I'd be better off buying that one. So thanks to Merck and Al for pointing that out. That's a great price. I'll put a link to all these watches in the description as before. But that's a really good looking watch. They obviously do it in several colours. I love the green. Which I think is the Hulk, isn't it? Is that the Hulk? The green. Oh, there's two different bracelets there. There was one on the Jubilee as well. I didn't realise that. And then classic Batman. And the blue and red as well. So NH34 movement. Go for that one instead of the one that I suggested. Now, another comment that was left was by AAA AAA. And he gave out a, sh a shout to a lot of brands, to be fair. But the one that he really mentioned was a brand that I hadn't really come across before. Um, I'm guessing they're quite new to the game. Allegedly, so this is Remulti. Um, It's at the Remulti Global Store. I'll put links again to all these watches. So I took a look and found a couple of really good-looking watches. Uh, I used one for the for the thumbnail for this. So the first one I'm going to look at is the Climbing Series. So it's an NH35 automatic, down from 151 to 133. I'm not sure why they're using the Mega Brand sale. That was earlier on in the year, but the dial on this watch is stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, we've got some uh, better pictures a bit further down. Um, they use a different watch here, but the 36 mil NH35 stainless steel sapphire glasses mentioned earlier on. BGW9 loom. That dial is absolutely stunning. I'd love to see that in real life. Kind of disappointed it wasn't a display case back, though. Uh, I'll be quite honest. I would have expected a, a display case back, maybe. But that that dial is absolutely stunning. Um, I would really love to see that in real life. If anybody gets one of them and wants to loan it to me for a, for a review, please do. Um, that looks great. And another one I found on the Remulti was this one. This is called the Remulti Bamboo, again, an NH35, very much a, a sort of Grand Seiko look. Uh, three colours, and we've got the uh, the green, the grey, and the blue. 176 down to 142. 40mm, uh, sapphire with anti-reflective, 100 metres of water resistance, 22mm strap. Looks really, really good. Screwing crown by the look of it as well. I mean, that blue is really striking. Again, green, bit different. Don't many own many green watches. 
to the Festina a while back, which I'll put a link to in the uh, in the corner. And that grey, if you're after a, a sort of business watch, business dress watch, these look great, to be quite honest. So big shout out to uh, AAA, AAA for that one. Um, and again, if anybody wants to loan me one of them, quite happily give it a review for you. Alex left a comment on the last video talking about the Pagani Design 1701 V3 and whether to get that, but was kind of worried because it was a printed uh, dial rather than applied, allegedly. Uh, I think I said go for it um, because Pagani have got such a build quality. Now, I found the watch that he was on about. It's down from 99 down to as low as 68. But they also do, I noticed on here, they bought out a version 4 I don't know what the difference is between the version 3 and version 4 at this point in time. I couldn't see anything in the description to differentiate between the two. If you do know, leave me a comment. Drop it into the comments below. That would be great to, to educate me and Alex on what the difference is on the V4 against the V3. Is it a slightly different? Yeah, I mean, there's two different colours looking at the V4. We've got the... Panda and then the light blue. The blue's really nice actually on the V4. And then over, oh, we've got another blue as well. That's V4. And then V3, which I think are the more sort of expected colours as such. Uh, probably would have gone with the black one. I know the V3 had white hands. I think the V2, I remember watching a video somebody did just saying that the hands were slightly different on the V3 against the V2. So it would be worth waiting for the V3. But Alex was looking at that. Great price again. Pagani Design, down from 99 to 68. You're going to get your usual features with the Pagani uh, on this one. It's a great looking watch. We all know what it looks like. It's that speedy look. It's the uh, VK63. Thanks to George for reaching out on the VK63. He educated me on that as well. So thanks to, to George for doing that for me. Um, yeah, PD1701, uh, 40 mil, 20 mil strap width, 14 mil, sapphire glass. Great looking watch, as we all know. But yeah, what's the difference between the V4 and the V3? Let me and Alex know. Now, last but by no means least, Al over at Time for Another Watch did his video for his watches to watch on the AliExpress 1111 video. I'll put a link to that in the description. And this was one that, that Al had put on his video, and I commented on it saying it was really good. So I thought I'd feature it on here. So shout out to Al for this one. Uh, and of course, it's the Steel Dive SD1970 Captain Willard lookalike. It's a great watch, let's be honest. 200 meters of water resistance, 44 mil diameter, NH35, available in several colors. The loom on this watch looks amazing. I think that's what I commented on, on Al's video. Uh, that looks great. It's a really well-known watch in the uh, affordable watch collecting world to get that look. So I thought I'd, I'd mention it on here. Great watch. Several different variants to come on. Metal or, or leather straps. Or sorry, rubber straps, not leather straps. Lots of different colors in there as well. So I thought I'd give a shout out to that. Thanks to everyone who's left comments, everyone who's subscribed and liked the videos recently. Thank you ever so much. I'm really hoping I get my community tab soon. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.